credit card payments. Acumatica provides integrated credit card processing for the collection of customer payments. The solution works for both online commerce payments and in-person register payments. With Acumatica, you can connect to a credit card processor which interfaces with the credit card banking network. As orders are placed, you can authorize or capture payments. Each day, the merchant bank settles accounts based on transactions which were approved by the card issuing bank. Money is deposited into the merchant's bank account, less a discount to cover the processing fees. All credit card data is entered via a secure form and stored at the payment gateway. A token is stored in both locations so Acumatica can reference data that has already been entered to process both one-time and recurring payments. The method is PCI compliant, so you qualify for lower processing rates. The architecture is designed to manage several different scenarios you see listed here. Acumatica supports businesses which accept pre-authorized and prepaid orders from commerce sites, businesses which accept orders for out-of-stock items, and businesses which charge recurring fees. After creating an account, you can initiate a payment authorization or an authorization and capture from a sales order or the payment and application screen in Acumatica. The payment gateway returns an approval and an authorization number so you can reference the transaction for future payment capture, returns, reauthorization, or voiding of the transaction. After obtaining a merchant account, you can set up a processing center. In this video, I show an out of the box payment plugin from Authorize.net, but you can install a different payment gateway plugin, such as an APS Payments, and follow the same process. In the Preferences tab, we've added a new feature so you can import settlement batches to help reconcile your transactions with the cash you have received. Next, I define a payment method which utilizes my processing center. Within the AR settings, check the Integrated Processing button to activate the Processing Centers tab, where you can select your processing center. Different payment gateways have different authorization periods and different processing times, so you can specify values to ensure you hold the appropriate funds on your customer's card. Depending on your settlement processes, you can specify a single payment for method for all credit cards or a different method for each card type as we show here. In this scenario, we process a large order with multiple shipments. Some items can be shipped immediately, but others are back-ordered and cannot be acquired before the authorization expires. The system needs to automate this reauthorization process. We'll show that now. On the sales order screen, I enter a simple transaction. The transaction could have been imported from an e-commerce site or an external system. On the Financial tab, I check to see if a credit card is already on file. In this example, a card is already on file, but the customer wants to pay with a different card. On the Payments tab, I can create a payment, check the option to enter a new card, and pre-authorize payment for the amount of the transaction. Since a new payment card is required, a secure window opens so I can enter the card information. If this transaction had been passed from a commerce system, this information would have already been transferred. Behind the scenes, the system creates a payment record and links it to the sales order. With my payment authorized, I can ship the order. Assume that I only have some items in stock, so I ship what I can. Based on the credit terms, I do have an option to require full payment before I ship any items. Next, I prepare the invoice. On the Applications tab, I can view the linked payment and capture it. I can capture payments in batch or process individual transactions directly from the sales order or invoice screens. The amount paid reflects the quantity of goods that were shipped. The remaining authorized amount is either maintained or voided, depending on the policies of your credit card processor. In this example, my authorized balance is set to zero. When I return to the sales order, I see that my status is back order, so I reopen the order. On the Process Orders screen, I can select the action Create and Authorize to reauthorize the open order amount. In most cases, this process is run automatically on a schedule. Now, on the Sales Order, in the Payments tab, there are two payments, the original plus the new pre-authorized transaction. Assume that it takes me some time to obtain the back-ordered items. During this time, the pre-authorization expires. 
based on my reauthorization period, the system will automatically void and reauthorize the expired payment using the credit card processing for sales screen. To ensure I do not double authorize my client's card, I wait 24 hours and select the reauthorize action. Now I reauthorize the payment. This can be scheduled immediately after the void transaction. Returning to my sales order, now we know that we have funds authorized, so we can go ahead and ship the remaining items. The payment processing log provides a history of all transactions and allows me to investigate any transactions which have failed. Acumatica automates common credit card processing tasks. You can create schedules to process transactions and notify customers of expiring credit cards. On the payment method transaction history screen and the payment processing log, I can view failed transactions and easily reprocess them. As we continue to innovate, expect to see additional ways to refund money to credit cards in the near future. For more information about Acumatica, visit our website to read documentation and view other videos.